Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, November the 17th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it looks like an active day for weather across the Central Plains. There's a look at the surface map for this morning, and uh, we have uh, high pressure off to our east, and that is allowing the moisture to um, flow strongly up into the central part of the United States, into the mid-Mississippi River Valley and the Ohio River Valleys, and we have a surface low that is uh, currently over northern Missouri and southern Iowa. Uh, in the upper atmosphere, we've been watching the evolution of an upper trough that his pretty neutral right now but is expected to become negatively tilted later today and into the evening hours and as it does it's going to uh, be responsible for helping to produce a fairly major severe weather outbreak over the Ohio River Valley. Across central Alabama temperatures did not fall much overnight. We're generally in the 60s across the area and keep in mind that our average highs this time of year are in the 60s but the important news here is that we do have dew points that are uh, up there. And actually, uh, we do have a kind of a complicating factor. When you look at radar across the southeastern U.S., you see that we do have kind of widespread uh, scattered showers occurring, nothing very uh, significant to speak of, but those will help to stabilize the atmosphere a little bit. Uh, so as the front approaches, uh, the atmosphere will have to destabilize. So it looks like timing may be somewhat off. QPF-wise, uh, rainfall-wise, we're looking at probably on the order of a half to one inch of rain. Um, a during the first phase of the rain today, it probably uh, for uh, late morning and afternoon, probably a quarter of an inch or less. But then this afternoon and evening hours, uh, we could get another half to one inch of rain with the uh, thunderstorms. As I mentioned, we're looking at a uh, fairly widespread, significant, severe weather outbreak across the Ohio River Valley. The Storm Prediction Center has outlooked um, first, the slight risk area dips down into uh, northern Mississippi and uh, the northwestern quadrant of Alabama. But uh, the big news is the large moderate as well as the high risk area over parts of um, Illinois and uh, Indiana. Uh, again, the Ohio River Valley and parts of the southern Great Lakes being under the gun today. Before we move on to that, let's talk quickly about the tropics. Uh, there's still the National Hurricane Center still watching an area of disturbed weather in the central Atlantic, but still uh, not expected to develop rapidly. All right. Looking at the high resolution NAM, uh, the, uh, this is at midday, uh, noontime, and uh, we see that some showers move through. So that's going to be kind of the first phase. Then later this evening, uh, and this is uh, uh, just after sunset around uh, 7 p.m. or so, it looks like the uh, Squall line she'll, will approach, but here's part of the problem is the timing. Uh, the squall line expected to move on through and by midnight should be into the central part of the state. But uh, as it does, of course, things will be decreasing. And then by the time we get to first thing in the morning on Monday around 6 a.m., there's not much to it. Uh, of course, the dynamics are all very far to the north. The dynamics are that the upper trough is going negatively tilted, as we see this at uh, midday today, or around noontime. Uh, and that, uh, looking at midnight, that trough um, goes very quickly into the eastern Great Lakes. Again, very negatively tilted, so uh, got lots of good energy. As I say, the timing is what's the problem. Uh, we do see Cape values uh, by about 21Z. Um, that's about, uh, let's see, uh, about 3 p.m. or so. We do see Cape values, the uh, instability uh, in the 500 to 750 joules per kilogram range. Uh, but then by the time we get to uh, midnight, the uh, instability values are down quite a lot. Uh, so it looks like with the arrival of the front and the basic, the big lift, that we won't have uh, the uh, instability to go with it. Uh, the front by uh, this afternoon is expected to be approaching uh, Memphis at uh, noontime. And so the uh, helicity values, the shear values at 3 p.m. are highest over the Ohio River Valley. And uh, they do come down into uh, northern Alabama. But then again, by the time the values come up a lot, uh, the instability has uh, dropped off because this is the shear values at midnight. So once again, it looks like there's a strong possibility for um, str or strong storms possible across the northwestern quadrant of uh, Alabama, and it will be a, probably a uh, squall line or a QLCS situation, so isolated 
tornado is a possibility, but it doesn't look like it's a widespread severe weather event for us. Now, moving out into the, the, the forecast for the coming week, uh, that uh, trough and the negatively tilted trough moves on through the Great Lakes on Monday, and so that should allow us to cool down just a little bit. Uh, Monday will be kind of a transition day, not, not terribly cold. Uh, we do get uh, come under more of a ridge on Tuesday, uh, and while we do cool off with the high coming in across the Ohio River Valley, uh, we're not going to get especially cold, uh, and that high migrates off to the east-northeast, and um, we will have to be watching on Wednesday for the possibility of the wedge as that high gets into a favorable position to develop a bit of a wedge, and that could keep temperatures a little cooler, but it looks like for Tuesday and Wednesday morning temperatures, low temperatures in the uh, 30s and highs probably in the lower to mid-60s. When we get out to Thursday, we're beginning to uh, watch uh, the two things. Uh, we see over California, we see a trough digging in very uh, far south, and then we also have a trough over uh, western Canada. Uh, neither of those are uh, that significant for us, the, the Gulf opening up to the west of us on uh, Thursday. But the trough moves by quickly across the uh, South central part of Canada. And so that's going to drag a front that's going to probably come down into the central part of the U.S. on Friday. And as that trough moves off, but we dig in this trough to the southwest, uh, as we see that trough move by quickly, that means that the front will probably drag down into our area. So it looks like uh, maybe late Friday and into Saturday and possibly Sunday, we'll have a front in the area. And so we could have the potential for some showers and thunderstorms. Uh, the the Central part of the U.S. comes up under some ridging by Sunday, but with the front dragged across our area, it's going to be a question of exactly where that front is. The GFS suggesting the front would be down in the Gulf, and if that's the case, then Sunday would be dry. But if the front doesn't get quite that far south, then we could still have some rain on Sunday. And so we'll have to watch for the development of that system as it, as it kicks out in week two. But with all the weather going on for today and tonight, I'm not going to even go out into voodoo country. James Spann should be back with the next Weather Extreme video for uh, Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for latest developments as we follow this uh, evolving weather situation. Have a great day and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>